Hey guys, it's Heidi from Wyatt Bibliophile, and I am here again with another In My Mailbox. Um, I'm making this video a little earlier than I typically do. I'm going out of town, so um, it's Saturday morning. I don't anticipate getting any books today, so I'm pretty sure this will be it. This is a really great book week. Um, April 5th, Tuesday, was um, had a ton of really amazing releases. I was really good. Um, oh, I bought, it's on my nook, and I forgot to bring that over here, but um, Teeth. A collection of vampire tales. I mean, Neil Gaiman, Melissa Marr, Holly Black, Cassandra Clare, done, 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 and done. Like, I totally had to buy that. Um, so I downloaded that on my Nook. I also bought Red Glove, which is the sequel to White Cat, or the next in the, the series of The Curse Workers by Holly Black. Um, White Cat was my favorite of last year. I was able to read this. I got a copy from Galley, Galley Grab from si Simon & Schuster, but I obviously had to have a hardcover. Um, I adore these books. If you've never read anything by Holly Black, you're really missing out. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend reading Red Glove. Um, I also got, of course, City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare, and I had to go into um, Barnes & Noble to get the one that had the letter from Jace to Clary in the back. So far, that's the only thing I've read of it. Um, but I intend to read this tonight while I'm babysitting, um, once the baby goes to sleep. So City of Fallen Angels, that's my next, my next read. Um, I also got Where She Went. Last week I posted my review of If I Stay and I absolutely loved it and I was bawling. Um, and so I now have the sequel. I haven't read it yet. Again, that's kind of next on my list. I've been kind of saving it because it really, they, the first one's a really emotional read and I need to know what happens next, but I need to build up to it. Speaking of If I Say, when I went to get those, um, I stopped by Borders as well, and they had a, a bunch of really great books for um, $3, plus I got my teacher discount because it was um, Educator Appreciation Days, and then my 10% off. So they started out at $3, and were much cheaper than that. The first one I bought was Strange Angels. <clears throat> I got this from the library, and I just didn't really get into it right away and didn't have time to read it, so I took it back. And then I got the audiobook, and I just really did not connect with the narrator on the audiobook, so now I have my own copy, and I can read it at my leisure. Um, I also bought, as I said, If I Stay, another copy of If I Stay, since I loved it so much and it was so cheap, I thought I would buy it and either loan it out to students or give a copy away. I haven't decided yet, but a beautiful, beautiful book. And I bought Looking for Alaska, but I loaned that out to one of my 8th grade boys. Um, very mature. Definitely his kind of thing. Um, and I loaned it to him in the morning, and at the end of the day he came up to me and he was like, I love that book, except for the end, where, and obviously I'm not going to tell you what happens, but it was kind of funny because the end is kind of... I don't know, I think it's a big event. And he was like, I love the whole book, but not that. So, we'll see. Um, he requested more John Green, so I'm going to bring him Paper Towns next. Um, I also got, uh, yesterday when I came home, a huge heavy box from Scholastic. Um, I'm a librarian, so they send me librarian preview boxes, basically, um, for their fall titles. Um, so these aren't books I request, it's just ones they send to me. <clears throat> and I do look them over, and it, it does help me with purchasing for my library, and my teachers really appreciate getting to see the books as well. So I'm going to go through a bunch of them quickly, and there are a few that are ones that I'm really looking forward to, but um, there are a lot. So Floors by Patrick Carmen. There's that one. Vietnam, book one, I Pledge Allegiance. I know I have a lot of boys who really like um, fiction stories based on actual events in the wars and things like that. So that one, that one will definitely be a big hit. Six Days. Is it the begin? Is it the end of the world or just the beginning? Philip Webb. Is that one? This one looks really cute. The cover, anyway. It's called Pie by Sarah Weeks. And little cat and pie. That'll be a hit in middle school. Um, another Dear America books. I'm so glad they're making more of these. My students really enjoy these. I want more. My name is America, which were the boys. Again, my middle school boys really like those, especially the war journal ones. Um, so this is the Diary of Donnie Ray Johnson with the myth with the might of angels. Um, and it's by Andrea Davis Pinkney, who is fabulous author, so I'm excited for that one. <clears throat> Icefall by Matthew J. Kirby. It says there may yet be a traitor among us. He wrote The Clockwork Three. Circle of Secrets by Kimberly Griffiths Little. I like this cover too. It looks kind of neat. Um, it's a um, kind of Cajun magic, magical realism kind of thing. So we'll see. Um, the second book in the Pilot and Huxley books. I think it's book two. Or it's, yeah, the next adventure, so they're really thin um, graphic novel comic type things. This is a pretty cover. It's by Lucy Christopher, and it's called um, Fly Away, and she is the author of Stolen. So, um, yeah, this one looks pretty good as well. And the ones I'm most excited for, Liar's Moon. This is the author of Starcrossed and 
I believe, A Curse is Dark as Gold. I was not a huge fan of A Curse is Dark as Gold. I have Star Crossed. It looks like that. I have it sitting on um, my desk at school. I just haven't had a chance to read it yet. It's A Liar's Moon. It comes out in November. I'm excited for that one. Um, my students are going to be hyped about this one. It's A Web of Air. It's the next Fever Crumb book. Um, Philip Reeve, he wrote Here Lies Arthur, and he wrote um, The Hungry City Chronicles, which starts with Mortal Engines. And then this series is like a prequel series to the Mortal Engines series. Um, and my boys really like that kind of steampunk. Well, I have a group of boys that really like that. So this is book two of Fever Crumb, and um, they're going to be really jealous that I have it. So, yeah, A Web of Air, Philip Reeve. And then the 11th Plague. I haven't heard anything about this, but um, David Levithan... Um, says, if you're like me, you may be starting to wonder if the world needs any more dystopian novels. But please, bear with me. Because yes, The Eleventh Plague takes place in a dystopian future. It's also an awesome, unforgettable debut novel. While we don't need dystopian novels for their own sake, we do need thoughtful, vivid, and thrilling stories to challenge, entertain, and engage. This book has that all in spades. So, And then um, Suzanne Collins actually... She has a blurb on the front of here. It says, The Eleventh Plague hits disturbingly close to home. An excellent and taut debut novel. So... I definitely want to give this one a try. That kind of um, that's exciting to hear. And then first day on Earth by Cecil Castellucci. Yeah, I'm not sure how to say that name, but um, I like her. So yeah, that one looks. This one's a very again kind of a smaller, smaller read. And then probably the one that I was most excited about and unexpected. I got home from work and I had a package from Harper Collins in my um, my mailbox. I don't typically get stuff from them, so I was pretty excited. And so um, my driveway is like a hill, and you have to drive up like a, a wooded hill to get up to the duplex where I live. So I was at the bottom of the driveway getting my mail, and I'm kind of like coasting up the hill, and I start like opening it just to see what it was. And Supernaturally by Kirsten White. I'm so excited for this one. I loved Paranormalcy. Um, Evie is just a fabulous character. But so I'm opening it, and I just saw, like, I just got to the top, and I just saw, like, her hair, so I knew what it was. And I seriously almost drove my car into a tree driving up my driveway. And I was like, okay. No, note to self, open packages when you get up to your house, not at the bottom of the driveway. But um, I'm thrilled for this one. I, like I said, I love Paranormalcy. I was able to meet Kirsten um, in September at an event that Anderson's Bookshop puts on a young adult lit conference. Um, and then I got to see her as well at an event at their in their shop. And she is just delightful and incredibly sweet. Um, and like I said, I love Paranormalcy. I'm really looking forward to Supernaturally. So... This one, um, I'm trying to be really good and not read it right away. I want to, but I have a couple books that I have to read, or I should read for review um, within the next couple, that come out in the next couple weeks. So I'm going to try and be good and do delayed gratification, which means I'm leaving it here this weekend. I'm not taking it with me, so it won't tempt me. Um, so yeah, those are the books I got this week. Like I said, it was a really great book week. Um, I really can't wait to get into Where She Went and City of Fallen Angels. Like I said, I already read, I already read red glove um, and that review is on my blog as well i hope you have a great week and um, i'm pretty excited about these upcoming books what books have you guys gotten what books are you excited about what releases are you looking forward to it's been a pretty awesome year so far as far as book releases bye